Okay. In three, two, one. Good evening. Hi. Hello. All right. Yeah, you know, we started the day off with a good laugh. Thank you all for coming out. Um, you know, this is a third session with you, with you all. Um, and we're going to go through all the protocol, housekeeping issues, and make sure that we understand that um, even though you are sisters, we still talk about HIPAA uh, and about disclosing anything that happens in the group because it could be damaging to your treatment, even if you tell family members. Also, all of the sessions are recorded, um, utilized for personal evaluation to make sure not only that I do a good job, but I caught everything that you all talk about in the group. Um, as again, the protocol, my name is Mac, and I'm gonna show you that you right, this is Tanya, Shamika, and Rasha. See, I could be a same group. <laughs> all right. So, you know, this is the third session you all have been doing really well. Um, what we are doing here is looking at revealing trust, revealing um, and man a foundation for continued respect for each other. Um, but also we want to open up the door for communication due to some sibling rivalry that got worse with adulthood, if I'm correct. We talked about some past experiences and some issues that happened. Um, even we talked about some things on how no one was seen like it was treated a little bit different from the other. So, but now your father's deceased and some of the last wishes were you all to reconnect as sisters in his family. So, a couple of techniques we're going to do tonight. We're going to challenge each one of you all to say something positive about the other. All right? Yes. So you can start off and say something positive about your sister. Well, both of them. I enjoyed the, uh, the celebration we had, mm -hmm. that we did on the last session. The, the cookout was fine. We had a nice time. Family got together. Mm -hmm. Got a chance to see your kids again, because you know, we barely see your kids. So, and they came, helped me out at the store too. Help me out with the store, stuff at the store, and everything. But what I can say about Shamika, she's still understanding. Mm -hmm. She's still quiet as usual. Right about Rashmina, she met her relationship is getting a little bit better. Okay. It ain't strong like it should be, but we are getting a little bit better. We're working at it. Okay. Shamika. Um, Tanya, she is a go getter. She's hardworking. Um, she does good running the family business. Mm -hmm. She take on a lot though. I like that about her. Okay. Marshalina, she's a great parent. I mean, she is very good with her kids. And she's a hard worker, so she do whatever she can to provide for her family. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, I agree with Tanya when she said about Shamika. Mm -hmm. um, very, I have a very sweet sister, nice personality. Okay. Um, understanding. Tanya, uh, strong minded. I love my sister. I think we clash a lot because we might be some so much more alike. Um, I love Tanya. So I love both of them. So. All right. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank you all for starting off with saying something positive about each other and taking that step. Um, also, uh, if I'm hearing you correctly, you have the similar to what y'all have in common is basically having strong personalities and strong work ethics and. Family is a priority, which and within you all's life is the problem is keeping you all together as sisters uh, and bringing the whole entire family. So we see that, and that's a, that's a real good thing. That's a good foundation to build off of. So you always want to celebrate your victories and and make sure that your people that you're having, your clients, or whatever, know that they have some strengths and they'll point out some of their strengths. So here's another challenge. Um, we want to make sure that we all always want to point out things that we can do better as a person. So the challenge now is not without being nasty or disrespectful, point out some things about your sister that you would like to see her change, and something that you think she has the capacity to change. Attitude. Not Attitude. pointing. Attitude. Okay. And I would like to see Shamika stand up. For, she stands up for it, just kind of like instead of trying to like oh, okay whatever all right all right just do it. I would like to say well no mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do it. Right. you know right. so that's what I see okay. for um, Tanya I guess she's so opinionated 
Mm-hmm. And sometimes the things that she'll say might come off the wrong way, but she has good intentions by it. So I guess watch how she say things or she presents something to someone. And Rochelina, uh, sometimes her patience can be so thin. Um, so I say, yeah, you know, give them more patience when dealing with people, especially the family. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, Rochelina. I really should make her. Because her patience is very thin. <laughs> Very thin. And I just like to see her work on her patients. But she's very good with her, her clients that she works with. She's very good. And Shamika, just like to say, you know, when you work with your people, I know you're on your own business, but you know, sometimes you just got to, got to just like speak up. Let, let them know that this is your business, not their business. Mm-hmm. But your workers, that's what it can be. It's just a good time. Okay. I just like to see her work on it, you know, making them do. She wants them to do something, they don't hear or something, and that's why they do the things they do. Okay. So to make sure, recap and listen, um, two very strong personalities who are the oldest two. Her is more um, calm and more of the avoiding type because she has such dominating sisters. So her role was basically speaking just to get along. Mm-hmm. And you two going back and forth with each other. So um, I think you see the strengths y'all see in your know, relationship. That now the key is now to look at different techniques in which you utilize um, communication. You know, so we started having more open communication. Um, looking at your triggers. What makes me so upset about my sister or when she says certain thing? Mm-hmm. Because of those um, would show Unlined, you know, underlying traumatic experience which might be connected to some of that trigger. So you have to think about it. You know, it's kind of hard when you're in the moment. But what did she do that upset me so bad? And like, what is that connected to? Because in order to fix the problem, we have to know all of the problem. Okay. So you know, we're gonna wind down. We're gonna keep you long. You know, you've been at work all day, but we want to make sure we touch bases like this. So your homework assignment for you guys is to make a list of some of your triggers. Mm-hmm. Things that upset you, not just with your sisters, I thought that was cool. but upset you with people in general. Because a lot of time when we do that, at self evaluation, it might not be so much as the other person that it is something about me that makes me upset about mm-hmm. this current thing. All right, so that, that's one homework assignment. The second homework assignment is you all get together and spend some time with you all and just do some social media bond. We did that already. Again. It's just not too much trouble with your busy you schedule. You said you didn't have to do one. Just show three. Just the three of you all. Wait, what's three of us for the kids game? What is it? Okay, for the kids and you now. So let's try this again. Would you like to do this? Remember now. Remember why you're here to recap. And you all have an agreement saying that y'all want to make it work and do what you could. Okay? All right? Are we all understand? Okay. We have any questions for me? Yeah. All right. Well, as always, I thank you. Y'all have fun. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, but you're not.